Yes, that's nasty. You supposed to put clothes on. You supposed to cover up. You look nasty. The Most High God calls you an abomination. Give me, give me a Sirach 15. The Most High call you an abomination. That's what you are. That's right. When you dress like that in the community, you're an abomination to God. Sirach chapter 15, and verse 13. That's what I want. The Lord is the Lord hated. All abomination. The Bible say the Lord hate all abomination. Right. God hates you when you dress that way. You don't believe in God. You don't believe in Christ. You don't believe in no God. You believe in yourself. God said you're an abomination when you dress like that. That's what you are. Read it again. Read it again. The Lord hated all abomination. The Lord hate all abomination. The Most High God hates you. That's what He's saying. Read it again. The Lord hated all abomination. All you women in Harlem dressing with your behind out and your breast showing. The Lord hate abomination. Go back to Psalms. Go back to Psalms 94. Psalms chapter 94 verse 16. She can take all the damn pictures she want. Read. Who will rise up for me? Who will rise? This is what God's saying. Who gonna rise up for him? Right. Who gonna rise up for God? Right. Read. Against the evildoers. Against all of this evil that's going on out here in Harlem. Sis, so I know you see us riled up right now, right? Because guess what? We rebuking the heck out of sin right now, and that's what we're doing. That's right. But I got time to calm down and talk with you. You understand? Right. I'm the Jesus that built that. Right, come. Come, come here. What you said, man? What you said? You got Jesus on your neck. Yeah, I'm the Jesus praise. doctor. You the Jesus doctor? Daughter. Yes, you are. You are Jesus' daughter. But guess what? You are Jesus' daughter when you do right. When you do right. You understand? We are the children of God. We make up the 12 tribes of Israel. But when we in our right state, that's 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 who we are. We offer our iniquity and we still are the children of Israel. But we have time to do what? Repent and come back to the commandments of God. You understand? Where are you from? You, oh, you speak French? Yeah, that's why. You speak French? You, you understand a little English? Not too much. It's French, French. They speak French too, yeah. Hey, yeah. check this out. Our brother right there speaks French. Okay. Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 17. Come on. Son of man, uh -huh. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So these people say, who are the hell are these men coming out here screaming at us, telling us what we doing wrong? Right. Guess what? We are the watchmen of God. That's right. We are the watchmen over the house of Israel. Read on. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth. The Bible is the word of, of God's mouth. Come on. And give them warning. Do what? And give them warning. That's what we're doing. We are here warning the people. Read on. From me. Come on. When I say unto the wicked. When I say unto you wicked black men. You wicked Spanish men. Read on. Thou shalt surely die. Thou shalt surely die. Come on. And thou givest him not warning. That's why we out here. We out here to warn you black men. We out here to warn you black men. You understand? We out here to give the people warning. Right. Come on. Nor speakest to warn the wicked. We out here warning the wicked of you so-called Israelites. You right. blacks and you Spanish. We out here warning y'all. Come on. From his wicked way. From your wicked way. Because guess what? That's what we doing out here. Hey, sis. We warning all the wicked of our people. We warning y'all people. Right. Guess what? Destruction is coming. Christ is on his way back. And he's going to rebuke the sinners of our people. Right. He's going to kill the rebels of our people. Right. So you better get your mind right now according to this Bible. You better start applying the laws of God. You better implement these things in your life. Read on. And thou givest him not warning. Hey, big man, boss man, boss man, guess what? You are an Israel, Israelite. You believe that? This is the problem with our men. We big for nothing. Big for nothing. Right. Big for nothing, for nothing. They not gonna get out here and lead their people. They not gonna set their people right. Hey sis, sis, watch this, sis. I can have a word with you for a minute. How you doing, sis? My name, my name is Judea. 
How you doing? What's your name? Shanita. 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 Let me ask you a question. What color is Jesus Christ? Same color. How you know that? Because he's in me. He's in you? Yeah. Uh, Christ is in you. He's your friend. Okay. You know him. Oh my God. He's your God. Sis, guess what? So you right. You. Look, watch this. You right in this sense. You right in this sense uh -huh. that you are a ch you are the children of God. You understand? Yes. You are a daughter of Sarah. You understand that? Yes. But guess what? We got to keep God's commandments, sis. Matthew 15. Find that. Matthew 15. Draw near me with their mouth. Because guess what? Our people, right? They love, they love to talk. They talk a good one, but they don't apply nothing to their life. They don't apply it to their life. Matthew 15. Oh, yeah, what is eight. it? Eight. You got it? Read it. Matthew chapter 15 verse 8, come on. This people draws nigh unto me. See, the Bible said this people, guess what? All the people draw near to God. Come on. With their mouth. With their mouth. They always run in their mouth about how they believe God, how they love God. You understand, bro? That's what the Bible's saying. Our people draw near with their mouth. Come on. And honor me with their lips. And honor me with their lips. Lip service, full of lip service. Right. Come on. But their heart but their heart, the mind, the mind, according to Mark 7, 21, your heart is your mind. He said, but their heart, come on, is far from me. It's far from me. We refuse to do anything that God say. We refuse to do anything that Christ say. So the sister said she keeping the commandments. I said, I could tell by how you look. You don't want, you don't keep the commandments. Hey. No, no, you're wrong. I didn't say I keep the commandments. You said, you said. I, I know God. Right. Okay. Okay, that doesn't mean I'm not going to fall or stumble or right. slip or trip because I'm flesh. Right. We're all flesh. Yeah. But watch this, sis. It's not that, we're not telling you to be flawless. But, but you can be, you're supposed to be perfect. Mm. I can't what, be perfect. Watch this. You believe in the Bible? I believe in the Word of God. You believe in all praise. You believe in the Bible? Okay, so watch this. Give me that. Give me... Huh? Believe it's written. Say again. Believe it's written. You believe it's written. Okay, so watch this. Read that. First Kings chapter 8 verse 61. Just listen to this. Listen to this. Let your heart therefore be perfect. Wait a minute. What was the commandment that God gave to King Solomon? Read it again. Let your heart therefore be perfect. Uh-huh. With the Lord our God. Let your heart be perfect with the Lord our God. Read. To walk in his statue. But how is how is your heart perfect with God? To walk in his statue. To walk in his statutes, read. And to keep his commandments. See, sis, that's how we're perfect. That doesn't mean you're not gonna make mistakes. Perfect, listen, listen good. Perfect and flawless are two different things. Right. Because we're going off of the Webster's dictionary version of perfect. No, the Bible dictionary of perfect is different. The Bible. The Bible says King David was perfect. King David committed adultery and murdered a man, but God still said he was perfect. Bring it up. His heart was for God. No. Why? Yes, wait, come here. Come here. Come here, sister. Sister, hold on. I'll be back this week. I'll be back you know this week. I gotta go. My brother, you know why his heart was perfect? Because he repented. Right. He right. repented. He right. acknowledged right. what he did was wrong. Said, I'm not gonna do that no more. That's how you're perfect. That's how you're perfect. She's going on a spiritual journey. On a spiritual journey? Yes, sir. Oh, no, 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 sis, sis, sis. We here to build. Come on. We building. Come on. Guess what, sis? Sis, we all on a spiritual journey. Listen to this. My brother, come over here. Hey, bro, bro. Before you leave, listen to this. Isaiah. I'm going to give you, I'm going to show you an example of what we just saw and what we've been seeing all day. Read this real quick. God wrote about his people, the children of Israel, in the Bible. He wrote their character. Now read it. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 9. That this is verse a eight. Verse 8. Now go. Write it before them in a table. So God told Isaiah, he said, go write it before them in a table, meaning a book. Read. And note it in a book. Uh-huh. That it may be for the time to come forever and ever. So that it may be for the time to come forever and ever, meaning... He told him to wrote it, write it in BC time so that in 2024 we can go back and read it and see what? That this is a rebellious people. God said that this is a rebellious people. This is what we deal with. God's people, you, 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 him. You guys are the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the real true. That's right. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation
nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time. Lom Israel, Musa and Christ bless. Scan that QR code that you all see on the screen. Because guess what? We trying to push this truth toward the four corners of the earth. Let's push this truth toward the four corners of the earth, man. So playing games. Make sure you subscribe to all our channels. We pushing the truth. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Woo!